Welcome to what's possibly the shortest video that we'll have in this series, and that's display capture. Now, display capture has many different uses, but a very specific, simple setup. And we'll just have a look at it here. If I go to my test two, which has our image slideshow, which I've disabled, so we don't, we can't see our image slideshow. I'll add display capture. And I'll call this display capture tutorial, which I can never type properly. It picked up our main display. So I'll pick display three, which is it's an ATP screen I have. And we can either capture cursor or not. So if I do this, you can see the cursor there. If I remove capture cursor, then you cannot see me click anything. You can see me select and do any other movement, but you can't see anything I do. So that depends completely on preference. Every time you click it, it will reload because it needs to reload the source to make that available. And as you can see, now I can do whatever I want there. And display source is used to capture whatever is seen on a specific display. You cannot hide anything from it. It's not an individual source. We will see those later. So everything you do on the specific screen becomes available to be viewed and that's really pretty much it when it comes to the display capture shortest video simplest video but i hope it had enough information to make it worthwhile thank you for watching this very short video i'll say it again and uh, don't forget to Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, remember, throw them in the comment section. Or you can find me live on Twitch and feel free to ask me there. And I will see you in the next one where we will be talking about the game capture source. Take care.